Millennium on. He's got quite a bit of things to worry about, actually. Let's see. Now, this is one of the decks that I'm also super excited for, and that is Millennium on. I have so many high hopes for this deck. Please do not let me down, Millennium on. Whoops. I'm super hyped for this deck. We got half of the support in BT18, and the rest is coming in BT19. So, first up, Pagumon. I'm assuming this is for the Millennium on stuff, but I feel like this is generic enough to just be good anywhere on deletion. If you delete it other by, than by battle, return one level three purple Digimon card from your trash to your hand. Not bad. Uh, as we get into level threes, your Gizamon. Yeah, he has to come off with the Pagumon, which kind of hurts, but yeah, the one cost of all kind of sucks. One play by trashing one card with Composite or Wicked God, draw two. Dude, everything is locked into these really weird Composite or Wicked God typings. Also get the Inheritance Blocker, more Shademon. It <laughs> did they really take the old Shade Mom card and just like hit the the 180 on the horizontal flip on it? Is that really what we got? Yeah, the old Shade Mom was just yeah, it's just, it's just they just hit the the horizontal flip on it. What, what happened here, man? <laughs> Come on, Bandai. I, I know you guys can do better than that. On play, Ugh. on play, reveal top three cards of your deck. Add one card with Twilight or Composite. Trade among them to your hand. Trash the rest one play Ugh. and it's five five cost for a search the digi cross i get for nene though it seems weird on deletion you can play nene from your trash without paying the cost then save and then digi cross with nene amano so if you have the nene tamer you can digi cross with this doesn't feel good though i don't know this might give bagra support but they aren't really in the manga. Uh, yeah, I, I have held on to my Darkness Bagara mods and hope that they may one day have value. <laughs> it's one of the cheapest secret rares to ever come out. I was so hyped when it dropped. It was like, this looks sick. And then I played, I was like, this ain't sick. <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. Deltamon. So new Deltamon here. Three costs, two costs from a Gajimon or a Gizamon. On play, on evolve, on deletion. Trash one card in hand to delete an opponent's level four. Also blocker. Also just composite. And then Chimeramon, he very angry. So he's got a lot to live up to. The oh, the past Chimeramons have actually been really good. So he's got quite a reputation to uphold. Like this guy, Loki, was actually a fantastic card. Popping two Digimon. Oh, sorry, popping level five or lower Digimon by popping one of yours is, was really good back in the day. The white Chimeramon was amazing. This Chimeramon seemed pretty decent. Like he could actually pretty, you could actually do something with this guy in the previous just BT18 cards. So this guy, you got you got a lot to live up to, but, uh, buddy. On play, when digivolving. Oh, hold on. First of all, Digicross. Three level four composite trade Digimon cards with different card numbers. One each, and it's a five cost if you do that. On play, by deleting one of your Digimon, delete one of your opponent's level three Digimon, one of the level four Digimon, and one of the level five Digimon. Okay, we're on, we're on track, actually. He does he does BT2 Chimeramon even better than he does it himself. And then on deletion, by deleting one of your level four or lower purple or red Digimon, you may play one machine drama from your trash without paying the cost. Man, I need a Digimon I can just destroy and then bring back immediately. I need, I need some like cannon fodder and fast. I'm thinking it's hard because this deck locks itself into the composite and wicked cards or wicked god cards. Like I want to use something like an old purple Guillemon who on deletion gains the plus one memory but i think it's hard to do i think it's very hard to do sec plus one inheritance is nice though that's a pretty pretty nice effect yeah the deletion is great but the the digital effect excuse me is great but the deletion effect itself i think might be hard to to accomplish just given what the deck does already because you don't get to play anything and you're just drawing cards your low level cards here and then just kind of get like the full the full comparison yeah we got the the gazimon here who's a searcher so he's not, he's not going to let us play anything. They just add to hand. Yeah, the Delta Mon either. He just returns cards to hand. So it's going to be tough. You're going to need to find a way to get out Digimon quickly. Machine Dramon. This artwork goes so sick. On play, on evolved, delete one level five or lower Digimon. So-so. And then on deletion, you may play one level five or lower Digimon card with Cyborg or Composite. If it only said Composite, I'd have been like, this is meh. But it's saying cyborg. Got me, got me scratching my chin here. The cyborg. It's sad that the cyborg has me more interested in the composite bit here. Is this new Magendramon? This might be new Magendramon, y'all. Trait has the composite type. Also, did you cross? 
Cyborg 5, level 5 or lower Cyborg or Composite Trait Digimon with different card number. This is new Machine Dramon. This is him. Inheritance Effect. Inheritance Effect. When any of your opponent's Digimon attack, you may change the attack target to one of your Digimon with the Composite or Wicked God trait. Oh, God. Hold on. Composite or Wicked God? Can we? Chaos Mon, save me. Chaos Mon, I believe. Unique, bro. <laughs> Damn it. Also, he counts as Boncho and D Brigade. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. What did you miss? You missed me face palming. Oh, Chaos Mon let us down once again. Ultimate Chaos Mon, also unique. What a unique fella that is right there. He's so unique. Oh my god. God, he could just could have been a composite. Damn it. <laughs> this isn't bad though. This is actually pretty good. You get seven cost machine Dramon. If you have the Supreme Connection, he becomes a three cost or four cost machine Dramon. He can't play anything else. Like he can't play level six, but he can play level five. So let me take that back. He can play level five for Cyborg after he's destroyed. But it's only on deletion. I think the other one was also... It just prevented itself from deletion, right? It's been so long since I played with good old Machine Dramon. Well, this one will be deleted. Yeah, it's just deletion. Oh, bouncing. Not saved. Yeah, we're still staying on brand for black defenses. Only deletion. Yuck. If, if Chaos Mon ever becomes composite, Omnimon can too. Please don't. <laughs> they, ha they have stuff, bro. They have a whole deck that just like is a trap card. You literally trap hole the deck <laughs> and... Or Mirror Force the deck, actually. What am I saying? Trap hole. It Mirror Force the deck. Let Mugindramon have a singular crumb of happiness. So the Machine Dramon actually seems good, though. So next up, Moon Millenniumon. Level 7, 5 costs from a level 6, or 2 costs from a Millenniumon. So you go from a level 7 to a level 7. On play, when digivolving, your opponent trashes cards in their hand until they have 5. I love this. Yes. Remember all those cards you drew? Throw them in the trash. Do it right now. I don't care. Mirage Gagamon players, be damned. Trash them all. All 57 cards you have in your hand, trash, trash them. For every two cards trashed by this effect, delete one of your opponent's tamers. Oh my god. <laughs> hybrid player's about to start crying. Feels like anti-blue hybrid the card. All turns when this Digimon would leave the battle area by deleting one of your Digimon with the composite trait, it doesn't leave. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, me watching Imperial Dramon draw 16 cards, but go ahead, bro. Go ahead and draw all the cards you want. Now trash them. Then they hit you with Paladin Mode and you cry. Um, all turns, once per turn, when this Digimon or Tamer, when Digimon or Tamers are deleted, trash your opponent's top security card. <laughs> That's hilarious. So if you have more composite types, you can just keep them around and, and like mill off your opponent's security. And then you also just drop them to five cards in hand. Gotta be careful because if you're fighting Finalugamon, you might be doing their job for them. But outside of that, I'm such a fan of this card. Some people were saying this might actually even be useful in like 7th grade Demon Lords, where when we're talking about real control, yeah, Barbamon also is that guy. But just like having this in the back pocket to like really just like, like trash an opponent's hand if they have like a bunch of stuff and they're like really hard up for pieces, seems really strong. Oh yeah, Zed Millenniumon. Shoutouts to them updating the web address the url that's uh, that circulates him i think the old z millenniumon had like the old digimon website but this one has the new digimon.net site which is so you can actually go to this it's kind of like the um tia Ludamon who has the shield that has the actual qr code you can scan this is the real website that you can go to with all the digimon information so he's got level six let's say level seven red purple black secret rare 16 cost, 6 comes from red, black, or purple. Or you can come from a Moon Millennium on for cost 2. So we're at our third level 7 in the stack, by the way. Overclock, composite traits. At the end of your turn, by deleting one of your tokens or other composite trait Digimon, this Digimon can attack the player without suspending. <sighs> on play, evolve and attack. So three times over, dang. And it's not once per turn. By returning one Digimon card from your opponent's trash to the top of their deck, return one of their Digimon to the bottom. That's so funny. Bro, let me <laughs> let me give you this useless sandwich, bro. <laughs> bottom deck with your level six and then put a level five on top of your deck is so funny. <laughs> oh, that's so disgusting. All turns when this Digimon with no Digivolution. This Digimon with no Digivolution cards can't be suspended and isn't affected by your opponent's effects. Wait, what? She caught him with the nine. Wow. If I'm evolving this thing, how come it says that? 
like the moon millennium isn't like sacrificing itself so how am i removing my own zed millennium on sources oh the option card okay okay so zed millennium on pending <laughs> do we like him or not pending hold on the wicked god descends four cost main you may play one digimon with the composite trait card from your trash with the play cost reduced by four <laughs> I don't know about that one. Then place this card in the battle area. My 12 cost Z Millennium on. Hold that. <laughs> you may play one Wicked God trait, so delay. You can play when you when any of your Digimon with Millennium on in his name would leave the battle area. Delay. You may play one Wicked God trait Digimon card with a play cost one higher than that Digimon from your hand or trash without paying the cost. Wait, what? Oh, I see. You have to set up your Moon Millennium on. This way, whenever he is taken out, you get to play the Z Millennium on for free. Got it. But if you evolve into Z Millennium on, you get the double attack from the overclock. I got it. Okay, okay. Because I was like, yeah, why are you getting this card? Why are you giving this card this effect where if he doesn't have any sources, when you have to evolve for two here? But it seems like you can just go here and option card and just get to play him out free. Yeah, you can delete the... You can choose, actually. You have the option, right? You can... Excuse me. You can keep the Moon Millennium on around, and then when you're like, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna not and let him die. And when you have the option card set up, and then you get to play the Zed for free. That's crazy. Although it does still feel kind of fair. Like he can't block, he can't attack two times because he can't suspend, and he's required to attack using the overclock effect. So he's this huge wall. Although I guess you could just use Shoto because I'm on him. So there's that. <laughs> Ooh. Old Millennium on works with the one higher option. Oh, does he? Let's see. Spell Millennium on correctly the first time. Challenge impossible. Oh, it is. You're right. Also, more blue hate. Thank you. <laughs> you can keep Moon Millennium on and play Zed. Oh, you're right. Oh, my God. Because it is. You're right. It's interruptive. Holy crap. So, when does Digimon will leave the battle area? So, you can do this. And because both of these would have activated at the same time, you can delay. Oh my god. And then you can save it. So you play the Z for free and you get the Moon Millennium on. <laughs> Holy crap. Your hand better be goaded when they get this guy out. That's insane. Just don't kill him. Just don't kill him. <laughs> this guy plus Shoto, just give him blocker and like, hey, screw you, man. And the alternate effect is when other Digimon, not just yours. So if one of theirs is deleted, then gone. Like if they lose a security battle, they also lose an, a security card. Dang, that's nasty. All right. So just win the game for free. Oh, free is, <laughs> is a bit of an understatement. You do have to get to two level sevens and set up a, a third one in the trash. Free is a, well, once you get it set up, it feels like a quest that's well worth the journey. Yeah, I think getting them set up is going to be the tough part. So it's like... The previous setup, I think, was like a bunch of uh, analog youths. And then you can, I think, go into the Chimeramon. Oh, maybe it wasn't the Chimeramon. You have to go into the, the Machine Dramon. And then, oh, I forget how this worked. There was a Japanese player doing it a long time ago. And I can't remember exactly how, it was at, how he did it. You basically got them out both at the same, on the same turn. By just hard playing, I think the the Chimeramon was it? Or was it the Machine Dramon? I think it was the Machine Dramon you hard played. So you got to the Chimeramon, and then you hard played the Machine Dramon, and then you can delete the, the Chimeramon, reduce his play cons by four. Then you could use the Analog Youth's effect to rest them and gain memory as well. And then you could um, use the Chimeramon's effect that whenever whenever it's destroyed, you could DNA Digivolt with the Machine Dramon you just played. So... You had to set up the analog youth first, and you needed uh, enough memory to not give your opponent a ton of stuff to work with. But he became a seven cost card at minimum, right? If you got the Khmer Mon up, so that that's already kind of a kind of a quest in itself. But now, maybe this new Machine Dramon's even better because he's eleven cost. Oh, he's the same cost, but he can reduce himself by one more. You just need to have enough cards in your trash already. So maybe analog youth is still the way. Ooh, yeah, I think. Finding the fastest way to get to that level 7 is going to be really important. If you can find a faster way than the Analog Youth stuff, I think you'll be in a really good spot. But if the Analog Youth is the best we can do right now, it might be tough. Another option might actually just be Purple Hybrid. I'm so mad. God dang it, that deck is everywhere. Holy crap. 
So Millennium on could be kind of spicy. Z Millennium on is very spicy himself. He's a habanero. That's guaranteed. The Moon Millennium on set up with the Wicked God Descends is, in, is insane. Oh, shit. Hold on. The Wicked God Descends. You play this in tandem with... Please be composite. Yes. The Wicked God Descends plays down the Machine Dramon here for cost minus maximum with the Digicross, right? Five, four. So it's a two cost Machine Dramon. Still, you're paying four for the option, but that's, yeah, six cost level six is insane. That's a great value. If you found a way to keep your turn, like maybe you get Jack Rage or something, I don't know. That's really good. But yeah, I see, I foresee this immediately with Purple Hybrid. Wait until this weekend when you see the video I put out. It's insane. You will understand. <laughs> That's really good. Okay. So Z Millennium on fantastic card. I get it. I see the vision. I'm right there with you. I just got to get to that level seven. And that, I may die doing that. 